This is huge. OpenAI just released some updates that are truly gonna change how you use computers. Let's check it out. Hi, I'm Ben and I'm an award-winning journalist and recovering startup founder. And I'm gonna walk you through the three main updates that you need to know. Number one, OpenAI just released apps in ChatGPT. So that means you can do things like ask ChatGPT for a playlist and then save that to a Spotify playlist right in ChatGPT. This is just the tip of the iceberg. Apps in ChatGPT could become as big as Apple's App Store. Imagine creating interactive stories on any topic you want to. Having ChatGPT order you something from DoorDash based on a diet plan that you've already discussed with it. The list goes on. Number two, OpenAI released something called Agent Builder. It allows you to easily make AI agents that complete all sorts of tasks autonomously. So this could be something like creating an agent that allows you to check your email, check your calendar, and then send you a to-do list every single morning. Moving on, number three, OpenAI released something called ChatKit, which allows developers to make chatbots within their own apps. They've released a bunch of other cool stuff, including Sora 2, the video model that's powering the buzzy new social media app from OpenAI, that is now in their API. So developers can use that to create all sorts of videos. It's both really exciting, but also terrifying. And they released updates to Codex, which is their code generation tool. So quick context here, all these updates are part of OpenAI vying to become the preferred platform for developers over companies like Google or Anthropic. It also shows that OpenAI is basically trying to become an operating system. I think they're hoping that one day you just go into ChatGPT and that's where you execute the vast majority of requests that you're doing on your computer or your phone, or eventually AR glasses. Obviously companies like Apple and Meta are gonna have a lot to say about that. Also, this is OpenAI clearly trying to drive more revenue. Through things like apps and ChatGPT, they can charge a transaction fee on any transaction made within the app. Anyways, follow this page if you want more tech news like this. And if you want an app that makes news easily digestible and a beautiful interface, download the Particle News app. Peace and stay human.